previously on Undercover. Wait, what are you saying? Special Agent Michael Bruschetta loaded the gun that killed Luigi Vitale. I mean, there's no record of a Michael Bruschetta at the high school or college he supposedly attended. Working off of the Boston connection, I searched some records out there and I found Michele Bruschetta. Could be him. They also have him listed as a suspect in an unsolved murder. Let's say I had a way to gain access to a cell phone company's mainframe without the usual warrants and red tapes, of course. And I can track his phone if it's turned on. So, how's the case going? Any new leads? You could say that. Why don't you stop by and I'll update you. I'd love to, John, but I'm not sure I'll be able to make it to the office today. All right, Mike. So what do you want? A chance to explain myself. Wrigley Field, 1 o'clock. I'll be there. Yeah. Fredo. Santo. Santo, it's a little early. What's going on? I need your help. Can you meet me on the south side of Wrigley Field at 1 o'clock? All right. Uh, what are we doing? We need to get some information from Luigi's killer. The investigation into Luigi's murder had taken a sudden turn, and all signs were pointing to my handler and friend, Michael. Or was it McKaylee as the killer? And on top of that, he was holding my family in an unknown location. It had not been a good day. But it was about to get a lot worse for him. What he didn't know was that Fredo and Marco were accompanying me to our meeting at Wrigley Field, and they wouldn't be too happy when they found out what he had done. So, uh, what's the plan? I want you guys to stay out of sight in the dugout here, but keep your ears open. I think you'll be interested in what he has to say. What's that? I'll get him to admit what he's done, and then you guys get to have some fun with him. Sounds good. But don't kill him. And why not? He has some information we need. What do you mean, information? He's holding some friends of mine hostage, and I don't know where they are. Forget about it. We know how to handle it. That's what I'm counting on. All right, so you ready? Let's go get him. Hold on a sec. Yeah, Sam? I think you need to hear this. What? Well, I've been monitoring Agent Pasquetta's phone since I was in the system. Right. And he made a call to himself. To himself? What do you mean? His office phone. Oh, what did he say? Well, that's the thing. It actually sounds like he pocket-dialed himself, and it sounds like he's having another meeting already. Can you patch it through? Sure thing. So you really don't recognize me, huh? Should I? Sonny? It's been a long time, but I used to go by the name of McKaylee. Did Sonny come with you guys? No, just me and Marco. Why? Sonny's inside right now. Listen to this. McKaylee? You mean from Boston? That's right. Wow, it's been a long time. Yeah, well, you kind of put me in a tight spot. What are you talking about? My prince showed up in a murder investigation recently. What's that got to do with me? Well, see, the thing is, I didn't do it. But the gun that was used matched an old homicide in Boston. A homicide that it just so happens you and I were present for. You mean... Yeah. And if I remember correctly, you used my gun for that. Because you were too chicken to do it yourself. Well, the fact is, you kept that gun. And it somehow ended up being used to kill your cousin. What are the odds? What's he trying to say? <laughs> Sonny killed Luigi. Let's get him. Hold on. So, just wait a second. Luigi. I know you did it. What I'm wondering is, why? What do you care? I don't, really. I'm just curious. Sonny! What's going on? Fredo, Marco, what are you guys doing here? We were gonna ask you the same thing. I got Luigi's killer. He just admitted it was his gun. Nice try. We heard the whole thing. What are you talking about? You got my phone call? I did. Whoa, Fredo, let me explain. I wouldn't do that, Fredo. Why not? Michael here's a federal agent, and he's likely to arrest you. What? Okay, so we take him out too. It looked like they argued and shot each other. John, what are you doing? Who's John? I am, and I can't let you do that. What are you talking about? I work with Michael at the FBI. You what? Look, guys, I'm sorry, but it's true. But Michael and I are busy men, and the internal squabbles of your family aren't really high on our priority list. However, if you shoot him right here in front of us, we'll have no choice but to bring you in. What are you playing at? He's saying... We should call it a day and go our separate ways. 
I'm sure Nino would be appreciative of your good work in finding his brother's killer. He's right, Fredo. Nino would probably want him alive. All right. Fine. Let's go, Sonny. You're coming with us. Wait. You guys can't just let them take me. Well, I got no probable cause to hold them. Sorry. But, but what if I confess? I did it. Now you have to arrest me. Yeah, but see, the thing is, we already have Luigi's killer in custody. What are you talking about? We arrested Volokov last week. But Volokov's dead. I saw it happen. Nah, you saw him get knocked off the pier and tumble into the water. Rubber bullet can pack quite a punch. I think we better leave before I decide to drag you back to Nino too. Feel free to let him know what you've learned. I'm willing to bet he'll take the news better than you think. Thanks, John. You're welcome. But this doesn't change what I heard. What are you talking about? All that stuff about McKaylee in Boston. I was just trying to get him to admit to the murder. Come on, Mike. You know me better than that. You know I looked into the Boston murder. They had a witness who saw you. Look, I swear, I didn't shoot the guy. Yeah, I know. Sonny used your gun. The question is, why were you working with Sonny? I was undercover. No, you weren't. You would have only been 15 at the time. So what I need to know is, have you been working with the Fatalis all this time? <sighs> no, I left that life. You'll understand if I'm a bit skeptical. Look, John, I swear, I got involved back in junior high, but, but I straightened my life out when I got put into foster care. Foster care? My dad was an enforcer out in Boston, until they asked him to kidnap the five-year-old son of a councilman. When he refused, well... You went into foster care. Right. I'm sorry, Mike, but I'm still gonna have to report all of this. I've seen your file, and none of your history was in there. I was afraid of that. Where's my family? What? My family. They're in the safe house. And I don't know where it is. Of course not. You know the rules. But you're going to take me to them. Sure, of course. John, you don't think I would hurt them, do you? Well, the thought had crossed my mind. Michael claimed he had never intended to hold my family hostage and got Cindy on the phone. She said they were fine and would bring the girls to meet me at home. All things considered, I was pretty happy with how things turned out. I mean, I wasn't going to be undercover anymore. That one was blown, so I'm going to have to find myself something else to do at the Bureau. But for now, I got my health, I got my family. A week later, CPD found the body of Sonny Vitali in a dumpster outside of Lucky's. They wrote it up as a random mugging. I couldn't agree more. Undercover, presented by Stroby Studios, is written and directed by Scott Strosel and features the talented voices of Greg Kilberger, Cody Burke, Michael Helgens, Steve Rampici, and Scott Strosel, and music by Kevin McLeod. I want you guys to stay out of sight in the dugout. I was going to say donut. <clears throat> I'm a cop, I can't help it. She said they were fine and would bring the girls to meet me at home. Then somehow we have to wrap up the show here. I felt relieved, and I realized that it was about time that I needed to head out and get myself a cup of coffee. It's been a long time since I had some java, and I really need some wine downtown for me. Perhaps I'd add a little rum to that vodka, er, coffee, and then I could call it a night after I watched The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. Because Johnny Carson isn't on it anymore. Man, that Foster Brooks was a funny son of a gun, but he's dead now. We don't get to watch him. You young folks don't know who Foster Brooks is, which is a shame. He was a funny man. Now you got the likes of Chris Rock. Chris Rock is funny, but he swears a lot. Foster Brooks didn't swear. He just acted drunk, and that was funny. Especially when you're drunk. It's even funnier when you're drunk. I think I'm gonna go home and have some drinks. Watch The Tonight Show. Yeah. There, I think that wraps up pretty nicely. <laughs> uh, yeah.